This Gulf of Mexico surf forecast video update brought to you by Fluid Surf Shop, Fort Walton Beach. Visit them at fluidsurfshop.com. Okay, guys, here's a quick update on the Gulf of Mexico. You guys know we've been monitoring the Gulf of Mexico for some homegrown development. We've been talking about low pressure moving into the southeast Gulf, and this morning we could clearly see a cyclonic rotation over in here off the southwest coast of Florida. We do have some convection building starting this afternoon, so this could be the start of the low starting to tighten up. Now, it does not look like we're going to get any tropical development out of here as upper level winds continue to remain unfavorable. This is now forecast to drop down a little bit further to the south and then off towards Texas. What we're going to be looking for over the next 24 hours is how tight this low can get and also the high pressure building in on the back side will start to create a southeast flow up in here and as of right now it looks like a small bump for the panhandle but if this gradient can tighten up and we get a little bit stronger winds we could see a little bit larger increase in surf into the waist to chest high range right now looking like knee to waist high for panhandle beaches taking a real quick look at the Canadian model and the Canadian model starting off tomorrow has the low pressure off the western tip of Cuba and the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and as we walk you through that you'll see that it starts to move it off towards the west and then over the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and then off towards Texas. What we're watching for is the any tightening of the gradient between high pressure that's coming in off the Atlantic and increasing that southeast flow. Uh, if we can and get a little tighter pressure gradient could see an increase in surf a little bit bigger into the waist to chest high range but right now looking like knee to waist high panhandle beaches We'll take a quick look at the GFS, but the GFS, I wanted to show you something in the extended. Again, the GFS has an area of low pressure in here off the western tip of Cuba and the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula, and we can kind of walk through that. It gives the same basic scenario uh, as the Canadian model. Again, high pressure out of the southeast, but it's at the end of the model forecast run. First time seeing it, uh, the GFS wants to bring uh, an area of low pressure off Central America and the Southwest Caribbean and move it up towards the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and the western tip of Cuba. Uh, this might give you some hope for some tropical storm swell coming up in the extended forecast and we'll walk you through that. Again, you can see if you look down towards South America, or excuse me, Central America, right in here, this is next Saturday uh, as it starts to pull it up together. And it keeps it stationary, but right there on Wednesday of next week, it starts to pull it up towards the north. And then by Thursday, in between the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and the western tip of Cuba. So that's giving us hope. This is the first time we've seen it. So we'll be watching for this in the consecutive runs over the next several days. But that's going to be your next shot at some larger surf. So be sure to stay tuned in for the forecast.